Saturday morning and I'm gonna take you guys along with me because today I have my first long run of um, my marathon training, my second marathon. I'm running in December and we're starting to get into training. Um, I have five months out until I run. I'm also doing a race in October, a 10K race. So it's time to start training. So um, today is my first long run of, um, it's just 10 miles. So um, that's kind of my base where I start my long runs and then we build from there. So I'm gonna take you guys with me. I'm gonna just run close to my property here, just on the roads around me. Um, some hills, um, mostly flat, but for my first long run of my training, we're gonna keep it a little more simple and easier. So um, I'll show you guys where I'm gonna go. Um, so I have uh, my coffee, of course. You know me, I love my coffee. Can't go a day without five cups. So there's just a little heavy whipping cream. Oh boy, the cat and the dog. Let's see what happens. Oh boy, there they go, there they go, okay. Anyway, heavy whipping cream, um, almond milk, vanilla creamer, and some stevia, a little Truvia. And it's delicious. And then I also have my big thing of water. I've had a drink a little bit. I'm gonna try to drink, maybe not all of this, but most of this before I leave, and then I'll be taking water with me, of course. Um, but no lemon or anything in here, just plain Jane water. Piper, stop it! I am not the morning type of runner that gets up at five and can just shoot out the door and go run 20 miles. I'm not that person. I'm the type of person that gets up, I need time to drink my coffee, to go through my emails, and like at least 30 minutes to wake up. Okay, and then I gotta get dressed, and, and you know, I'm slow in the morning. Not it, not a, much, not a lot happening today, so. Um, yeah, anyway. And then I'm gonna try to rest today because Tomorrow I have a soccer game at 9 in the morning um, in Ukiah, so yes, and we're going to win because we're going to the finals, baby. All right, anyway, okay, enough of this. I'll see you guys on my run, 10 miles. Also, um, you guys know I'm keto, so I'm not even going to be eating anything, maybe like a few almonds um, before my run, and um I should be able to go the whole 10 miles without any fuel because my body is going to be eating my fat as fuel. That's the idea. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see if I can run 10 miles without any food. And then I will be eating something, of course, after my run. So that's the plan. All right, guys, I'll see you in a little bit. Bye. All right, I'm about to head out on my run. I'm just gonna show you kind of the basic stretches I do before I go on a run. It is gorgeous out. It's 7.15 and um, it's like the perfect temperature. Um, I got a light long sleeve. I'll probably be taking this off within the first 10 minutes of my run because I'm gonna get hot. But anyway, just you wanna stretch out your leg muscles, um, hamstrings, um, all that stuff. I like to hold each each stretch like 20, 30 seconds. Get everything stretched out. Okay, quads, do basic. Bring your leg back, try to touch your butt. Don't like do this, arch your back. You want to make sure it's kind of parallel with your other leg there and you should feel it right here right. so the first couple of miles I'm going to do a loop kind of by my house because I did have coffee and I always have to pee like after I have coffee so um, I like to stay close, make sure I can do that first bathroom break, and then I will probably stray off a little further from home. Um, 
Okay, I also like to do my hip flexors. So I kind of just go down like that and it stretches your hip flexor out and the inside of your leg. Sorry, it's kind of a bad angle. You're on my stairs there. <laughs> it works, it's fine. It'll work. Good. And then switch to the other side. Stretching is so important when you're running. Lots of people don't do it enough. You should stretch before and after your run, um, as well as during the week, you know. Um, a good 15 minute stretch session is so good for you to prevent injury and keep you limber. really important I used I mean I guilty of not stretching enough I know we all are but you know it's just one of those habits you got to get into okay then I like to um, do my hip flexors also I bring my you can't even see my legs hold on hold on you can see my legs probably better down here there's my husband's truck there so I bring one leg up by my hands here your knees should be right by your shoulder and this is stretching out your hip flexor really really good just go down as low as you can and then I switch and also the first couple miles are kind of like your warm-up so I take those really nice and slow and easy to get my body warmed up. If you go out too fast, you're gonna be hurting and won't, won't finish your run as strong as you could, from what I found, but everyone's different, so. Okay, I also like to stretch my um, calves. Those work really hard when you're running. So for those, I go down and I bring one foot one ankle over the other ankle and kind of just press back into your calves stretch that out this is your classic like if you're a soccer player like I am this is your classic calf stretch for soccer it's what we always did since I was a kid then you just switch put your other ankle on top of your ankle I hope I'm making sense and push back you could also do this on a like on a wall where you just hold, you know lean onto a wall and stretch your calf out that way you can do that too so this is just your basic get your large muscle groups stretched out um, also I like to just swing my arms warm up my upper body your upper body works really hard when you're running also your back your arms your shoulders your neck all that your whole body works so just get everything loose. Okay, we're ready to go. I'll see you. All right, three miles in, feeling great. Running at about a 9:20 pace, and I just stopped to pee real quick. Um, and my kids are a mess. I'm so glad I'm out for a run right now. Uh, crying, tears, tiredness. So it's beautiful out here, though. Beautiful day. It's like probably. A little over 60 degrees which is perfect for me and so now I'm gonna kind of stray off of stray off into the wild no um, go on some different roads now change it up a little bit so all right feeling good I'll see you guys in a little bit let's do this let's finish this is how you do it rebel style road close oh I don't think so this is where I want to run Oh, looks like other people have done this. Oh, there you go. Oh, big pound, big thing of dirt. No problem. Look, a trail. All right, we're off road and now. We did it. Oh, but wait, how are we gonna get up there? Oh, I don't know. Shh, don't tell. We're breaking the law. Just kidding.
kidding, we're not. Okay. Whew. That's how that's done. Nothing can stop me. Nothing! Okay, did it. Boom, baby. Heck no. I can't stop this. All right, I'm on like mile 3.5 and uh, the sun went away, but it's beautiful. Okay, bye. Coming up on a little hill. Let's see if I can get to the top. Well, it's hard holding a phone and running up a hill. pretty out and I have uh, six miles left and under an hour to complete because two miles left I'm hustling because it's like 840 I'm gonna be right on time to get ready for the vet so feeling really good I started getting a cramp about a mile ago and I'm just running through it breathing and I think it's because I didn't drink enough water early this morning, so always hydrate. Okay, I'll see you guys at the finish line. Let's do this. Done. Whew. It's 9.07. Pretty good. Started at, after stretching, everything was close to 7.30. So about a little over an hour and a half. So that's pretty good for my first long run of training. I'm definitely in a better spot than I was um, my first long run of my first marathon. That was very, very, very depressing. <laughs> so I'm definitely in better shape than then. So I'm confident that this next marathon, I will be able to break some personal records. Anyway, that was a great run. Headed back to the house, walking back to my house. Um, and for those of you who are wondering, why do you run these long runs? Like, why do you run for three hours every week? Um, and your long run is actually one of the most important runs of your training each week. Because um, for those of you who are doing long distance like marathons or um, ultra running, is this, the long run is what helps you build endurance. And it's what's going to help you get through 26 miles or a 50k or whatever it is you're doing. But um, the long run is what helps you gain the distance and build your endurance. So your long run isn't about speed. And yeah, it's not about being fast. It's about time on your feet. And it's about distance and just spending a lot of time running. Um, and you want to start out slow. You want to start out shorter distance like 10 miles and build up each week by a couple miles at a time and I got caught in mouth I would say if you're really new to running and you're trying to build up to like a half marathon I would say start out with a base of three miles make sure you're able to run three miles without stopping and then for your longer runs start out at five miles and then even build up one mile each week or a mile and a half each week until you're up to at least 10 miles before you're a half marathon. If you're a beginner going into a marathon, I would say um, start out anywhere between seven miles to 10 miles and then build up a couple miles each week. And um, that's a great way to start. So I did 10 miles this week. Next week, I'm gonna be out of town in Tahoe, Lake Tahoe, so I'm gonna be hiking a lot next week. So. Probably not going to do a long run next week, but my next long run will be probably 12 miles and then I'll keep building up. 
Um, another thing I was gonna say is I drink none electrolytes. Shout out to none. Um, if you are doing the keto diet and you're a runner, I would highly recommend the Nun Electrolytes. It's these little tablets that you put in your water. They're fizzy, they taste amazing, they have tons of different flavors. They have like four grams of net carbs, potassium, magnesium, sodium in them, and um, you even get this cute little bottle. And I take Nun on my long runs and it is great. So highly recommend them. I'll drop the link to their site below. And um, yeah, thanks for joining me on my run. Gonna go get ready real fast, take the pup to the vet, and uh, I'm not sure after that. So see you guys in a little bit. Bye. We are on the road. We are just leaving my house. Don't worry, we're still in my driveway. I'm not being crazy driver here. So showered, got the pup, got layer over in the back. I'm up front driving and I was gonna show you so we were like rushing I got home at like 9 10 so I had to get in the shower I wanted to leave the house by 9 30 ish so okay. okay so um I wanted to show you what I made because I ran 10 miles and I didn't eat anything before I ran um, and so I needed some fuel so I made the shake and a lot of times after I do a long run like that, I'm not hungry after, you know, my, it takes a while for my body to kind of calm down and my digestive system to kind of calm down and get ready to eat. So a good um, tip for other people who are like that, who after you run, you don't really, you're not hungry, but your body does need to get in some protein and some, um, to, you know, replenish and restore. So do is make a shake. Um, so I have some protein powder in here from Neolife. I have PB2 peanut butter. Um, I have chia seeds. Um, what else do we have? Collagen peptides, um, cinnamon, sorry, a little salt. Um, whoa, sorry. Just, ah. So that's all in here and I will drop the, um, <laughs> I'll drop the recipe to the shake in the description and um, the nutrition on it. Um, it's a little higher in carbs, but I also just ran 10 miles, so it's it's good to kind of put a few in there. So it's probably got no more than 10 carbs, so it's still low carb, but um, for keto, it's a little higher carb. My camera keeps moving, sorry. Anyway, so I'll drop the link to this and we're headed to the vet to see where the day takes us. So, all right, y'all. Peace out. Yep, oh. What did you get at the dollar store? Shopkins, keychains. And look what else we have. Oh, a new coloring book. Yeah. Saturday at the dollar store. We ran in to get some stickers for our cousins that we're gonna send to them. And we had to just get a couple things for ourselves, huh? All right, headed to Safeway. And um, oh, I know them. And then we're gonna go home and make some lunch. All right. Oh, yeah. Bye. Here is the easiest guacamole recipe ever. I'm using three, these are really small avocados, so I'm just using three. If I had a normal size avocado, I'd probably just use one, but it depends on how many people you're serving. Anyway, so to open up your avocado, cut it in a circle around the whole avocado and then kind of twist it open and pull out the seed and then kind of scoop the avocado out and put it in a bowl and then do that to all the avocados. This is like the easiest uh, guacamole recipe and it's really, really good. Oh.
Okay, so now I use paste salsa. I love it. Salsa can be a little, it can have a little sugar in it. Um, so if you're very strict keto, watch out for that. But I mean, for the amount that you're having, it's very, very little amount. So um, I'm okay with it. But just to let you guys know, like two tablespoons of this salsa had two grams of sugar in it. Um, anyway, so I do probably maybe a couple tablespoons of salsa, and then I do probably a teaspoon of lime juice, and then Tony's Creole seasoning, which I know it's <laughs> made for other things, but I believe Tony's is good on everything, so I put a little bit of Tony's in there, um, and I just mash it all together, and it is so delicious and so easy. Um, Normally guacamole is made with like onions and tomato and cilantro and yeah, you could definitely go that route But when you're if you're in a hurry or you're just lazy <laughs> um, Doing it this way is another option that's quicker and easier. So just mash that all together and um, There you go. Then you have a yummy yummy guacamole All right, here's my lunch. I have some chicken, leftover chicken, um, broccoli, guacamole, um, pork rinds, a Greek yogurt ranch dressing, and lettuce, and I think that's about it. It was super delicious and super filling. We are chilling outside, grilling dinner on uh, that. Um, we are grilling salmon that my husband caught out of the ocean yesterday He went fishing and caught some salmon and we are eating it and it is amazing This is our second night eating it and we'll probably have it again tomorrow because uh, we have a lot <laughs> So we're grilling that and gonna enjoy it. I probably am just gonna eat salmon like nothing with it because I had a huge salad for lunch, so I think I'm just gonna have some salmon tonight, a lighter dinner, um, and yeah, so. Yum! Salmon on cedar plank. It's hot right here. Oh, so good. So good. Oh, it burns my eyes. Good job, babe. Go upstairs. <laughs> it's time for bed. Go. Go, let's go. Go upstairs. Come on. They are so tired. No naps today. No naps. Yeah, you're crazy. You're being cray cray. Oh my gosh. Get in the bathroom. All right, guys, we are going to bed. I don't know why that's funny. It's 7.15. I'm putting these girls to bed. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'm gonna put what I ate in the description, kind of my menu for the day. And I'm gonna be, you'll see my macros at the end of the video. Um, and I hope um, you got some good information out of this video. And um, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you hated it, maybe give it not a thumbs down, but maybe just comment and say, hey, maybe you can improve on this. So guys, if any of you have good um, video editing tips or programs that you use that you would recommend, I would love to hear them. I use iMovie right now and I like it a lot. Like it's really easy to use and I do it mainly on my phone, edit my videos on my phone and it's really simple and stuff but I'm looking, looking to step it up I guess and you know, see what else is out there. Um, I have a Mac computer. So, I don't know if you guys have any tips on video editing and also like, yes, I'm an amateur. Like, I'm new to all this. I'm, you know, I've been on YouTube for maybe six months. And so, if you guys know how to get music for YouTube, I think 
YouTube has a music library. Um, if there are any other ways to get music that you don't get copyright issues with, I guess, um, let me know. Because I'm just looking to get better at all this stuff. Or if you have any channels or if you have a channel that helps with this kind of thing, I would love to subscribe. Um, but anyway, so that's that. All right, I will see you guys at the next video. Please give my channel a subscribe and um, I would greatly appreciate it. And we'll uh, see you guys later. All right, you wanna say goodnight? Good night. Good night, guys. We'll see you later.